वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ एच टी एम एल प्रैक्टिकल इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉल्स पान एंड रोज पान एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ द टेबल एलिमेंट इन एच टी एम एल सो यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन the call span and row span attribute if you want to merge any two cell i mean the row or the column in the single column or the single row so you can use this call span and row span attribute i'll show you the output first see on the screen you can see that uh, in the first row there is three column right so there's no merging but in second row there is uh, two cells the two row i have merge right and in the next i mean the you can say yes two cells i have merged here and in the third row i have merged a uh, three columns the three column you can say three column cells right so merging of rows and merging of columns that is with the help of the um, row span and call span attribute so that can be used with uh, td tag so you have to decide where you want to apply the merging and with uh, which uh, cell right so see the td row span is 2 td call span is 3 the value you have to assign uh, in this case that means you want to uh, merge the two row right uh, so that is 2 and td call span 3 so that means you want to merge a three column in one cell here uh, in previous uh, in one cell two row and in next example uh, one cell in three columns so that is why there is a row span and call span attribute that you, you can be used with td tag now i'll discuss the actual example so let's see the code for this example how you will get the output so let's see the code so the code is i have created a table tag with border size 1 and the th tag which contains the uh, the text as column 1 2 3 the name itself then the first row closed so this is the first row and this is the second row so in second row let's see uh in second row there is a merging of two cells right so actually we have here 1 2 3 and 4 row right but in second row i have merged it so see you can see that a td row span that means a two row is going to be merged in one cell so that is row 1 cell 1 right so i have also uh, applied the name so that you can get the clear idea because here the column 1 column 2 column 3 are the table heading or we can say column heading row 1 row 2 and this is row 3 right so cell 1 cell 2 cell 3 like that so the first row is merged with uh, two the first cell of the second row is merged with two rows so i have used row span 2 right and row 1 cell 1 the secondly i have used is close td row 1 cell 2 Uh, and the second third is row 1 cell 2 now uh, you can consider that this is the row 1 right 
right uh, since row 2 cell 1 is not there because you have merged with previous row so there is no cell for row 2 uh, in case of cell 1 right so directly we have row 2 cell 2 and row 2 cell 3 so only the two content for the second row so that is row 2 cell 2 row 2 cell 3 right so you can use that with td tag and the last is if you observe there's only one cell so one row and merge with three columns so that we have td call span 3 and it's row 3 and only one cell so that is how you can merge uh, columns and rows uh, I just want to clear out here this is the horizontal bar is called row and the vertical bar is column so in case of last row right you want to merge one two and three columns so for column we are using td tag and in td right we are going to use call span right that you want to merge a three columns in one cell right in one row so td it's a call span three so uh, all three cells is going to be merged with one row and here this is row one row two right so two row you want to merge in one cell so like that you can use a row span i hope now it's clear you can get the clear idea how to use the row span and call span thanks for watching my video we'll meet soon in the next session